if I want to stand up, I would like have to hold on to things because of the pain around there. So SPD is basically like... Hey guys, this is me again, Taiwo, and this would be my 32 and 33 weeks pregnancy update. We are getting closer to the due date, which is amazing. Um, the weather is, oh my god, it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous today. I'm currently 33 weeks and 6 days today. It is the 26th of May today. So I can finally say that I've finally caught up with my videos because at some point I was making my videos and um, I couldn't edit them because we moved and then when we got to our place then I had to be making current videos and the videos I've made in the past so I had like loads of editing to do and it was just a lot for me but now all my videos are edited I'm up today today is the 26th of May so yay <laughs> this is my 32 and 33 weeks pregnancy update I have a lot to say this week from my last update which was my 31 week pregnancy update if you haven't checked that video I'll go and check it out I'll leave a link here or there somewhere there up somewhere up there go and check that video out I was extremely extremely tired at 31 weeks pregnant the reason I was tired kind of like came out at 32 weeks then I just went from being tired to not being able to move at all and at 32 weeks I was supposed to have a midwife appointment where I was supposed to go to the midwife to see the midwife but I could not go at all because I could not move I had a huge pain around my pelvic area it was really bad guys like I could not even get up without screaming like it was really bad and coupled with the fact that it was raining on that day so I just didn't want to risk like going out when it was raining with this pain that I'm feeling so I had to like call to change the um, appointment and when I spoke to my midwife I told her about it and she was like oh that sounds like SPD now SPD is a pain around your pubic area it's a symphysis pubic dysfunction so it is very 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 painful and to be honest I did not know about this SPD thing I didn't know about it to be honest even though this is my third pregnancy you don't know about something until it happens to you <laughs> you don't know about it so the moment she said that I was like oh what's that you know I've never heard of that before so I kind of did my research about it and then every of the symptoms that is written under that SPD thing was exactly what I was going through I have been complaining about hip pain I think for the past one month if you can go and check out my weekly videos you would notice that I've been complaining about that both hips have been really sore especially my right hips and uh, I've also been complaining that if I want to stand up I would like have to hold on to things because of the pain around there so SPD is basically like if this is your pelvic I'm not very good at at description <laughs> so if this is your pelvic area anyway let's say this is your pelvic area so this side is meant to like close up I think they said the even if it opens up this side yeah even if it opens up in pregnancy they said it would open up I think for up to about 5 mm or something like that but with SPD it can open up I don't know if you can see that actually it can open up, up um, I think they said up between 10 mm to 15 mm you know so I think that's exactly what I've been going through because they said um so many like the kind of things that can cause the SPD is if you are walking around too much and I've definitely been doing that in this pregnancy because I haven't got a car at the moment um another thing is going up and down the stairs where we are living right now is um we've got the toilet upstairs so I have to like go up the stairs a lot of time and bear in mind that when you're pregnant you will be needing to go to the toilet a lot if you also have a sudden weight gain that that can also increase your SPD so like all those symptoms have been just like bang on for me like and the symptoms of the SPD has been exactly the same thing for me so yeah I could not go for my midwife appointment because of that pain and another thing is like I mentioned in my past video that I could not wear my wedding ring again and my you know my rings I have to take them off I managed to actually fit the wedding band back on my fingers are still huge they look like sausages at the moment <laughs> um, but I managed to fit this in it's quite tight I really hope the lighting is okay I don't know because I'm using just natural light at the moment it's quite the ring is quite tight it was quite hard to get it back on but it's not it's not it once it's in it's not feeling uncomfortable so I'm okay with that one I can't I can't even do with my engagement ring that one is really that one feels really really tight 
so this one is fine when i was 32 weeks i was really really tired and not only was i tired i was starting to feel unwell like i was starting to feel really sick and you know i did mention that my metallic the metallic taste in my mouth had gone off but it came back <laughs> so then i was starting to have that like spit in my mouth and having to like speed it has definitely gone down now but at 32 weeks it felt as if it was coming back i don't know if i can say that the money sickness is coming back when i'm in my third trimester i can't say that yet it's not as bad as the first trimester but there's something there you know? at 32 weeks all that happened okay so i thought i would throw in my 33 weeks pregnancy update so that's why i'm doing this video together so at 33 weeks things started kind of you know picking back again the metallic taste in my mouth had, had gone down you know i usually look at my phone because that's i write things down as i notice the symptoms so that i don't forget when i'm making my videos so i went for my 32 weeks appointment when i was 33 weeks pregnant so i went for that appointment and i had to like uh, <laughs> anyway i wasn't i was feeling you know much better compared to the way i was feeling when i was 32 weeks so i went to my appointment and midwife checked me and she said that baby is still down there like baby's head is still down and baby has engaged the midwife also said that once baby's head down from this stage you know because i was 33 weeks that um they probably won't move around like they won't change position from this stage so that's amazing to know that baby hasn't just only got its head down but it has also engaged and another thing is that as i've added quite a lot of weights this is something i've mentioned in all of my videos i swear to god <laughs> my shoe size has gone up two times so i was wearing a size five now i'm wearing a size seven seven i went out the other day to buy because it's very very warm now the weather is really hot i can't i can't wear covered shoes anymore like i, I won't feel comfortable and the fact that my feet was swelling a lot so i have to get slippers so i went out the other day to get some flip-flops you know some slippers and size five couldn't fit me anymore size six was tight so i had to go for seven and seven is just like the perfect size for me right now i cannot believe i did not think that in my lifetime i would have to wear a size seven <laughs> that's crazy with the pubic pain what they've advised is that i just need to rest a lot they've said that um like if you're doing too much that it can you know it would bring spd on and in this pregnancy to be honest i think i've rested a lot i can't i wouldn't say i haven't rested because my husband has been absolutely amazing he's been so like he's been he's been he's been amazing he's been he's been i can't even like words can't express how much is is how much is taking on so many things in the house just for me to rest and for me to like be told to even rest more I don't know that means i don't know i'm thinking maybe i probably need to stop going up, up and down the stairs a lot reduce my walking so i mentioned in one of my videos that i still have some things to buy you know for my hospital bag for the baby's bag and things like that i think most of them would have to be like online shopping to avoid me walking around too much um i was also told that i should just carry on using painkillers that there's nothing they can do about it and the lady also mentioned to me which is my midwife she mentioned to me that she can actually refer me to a physiotherapist and i thought to be honest going to the, to the physiotherapist would be another stress another pressure for me so i thought you know what let's just hold on with the physio for now okay i will carry on using the paracetamol taking things slow and easy and we'll see how it goes if the pain continues after birth then i can you know then i would say that yeah i mean i won't be pregnant anymore then i probably would would go for the physiotherapy appointments i just thought i'll throw this in it's not very it's not compulsory but i just thought i'll throw it in i mentioned in one of my videos that i am a student so i'm not studying a degree course or anything what i'm doing is just an access course okay to uni and um, have i been in uni before yes i have been to uni before but i will talk more about that in another video i really don't want to go there now so i'm doing a part-time course anyway where i go every tuesday and i'll be finishing the course pretty much soon and we did our presentation this week 33 weeks so where you have to stand in front of the class to kind of present and my, i did my presentation it was an amalgam feeling it was really good but i just thought i'll throw it in this video because i was you know heavily pregnant student presenting was just hilarious but everyone said it was really good that i took my time to present and everything that i didn't really feel that it didn't it didn't feel like i was like a pregnant person was presenting <laughs> so i just thought i'll throw that here as you get bigger 
you will find it very very difficult to sleep and that is where I am right now I don't really enjoy sleeping because I have to move you know you have to change because you have to sleep on your side you can't really sleep on your back so changing from one position to another is something I dread a lot because of that SPD so I'm not really sleeping very well at the moment another thing is that I am sorry that I'm rushing through this video I don't want this video to be like too long I am now Kind of tolerating perfume smell because i could not stand anything fragrance i stopped using my perfume and my husband's perfume everything was just like making me sick but i've noticed i finished my husband's perfume because at some point i started tolerating my husband's one but i couldn't stand mine but now i'm starting to use my one so which is absolutely like crazy because with my pregnancies i do not i do not tolerate perfumes or anything fragrance i'm always throwing them away or keeping them away until i have the baby but this time things are quite good you know i'm back on my perfume which is really good my ad bond has really really reduced like uh, it's not it's still there but it's not it's not like how terrible it used to be and i think it might be because baby has dropped you know like baby is engaged because that can also Sell on your hardboard. I think that's everything for my 32 and 33 weeks pregnancy update. I know this is a super long video. I think it's because it's a two weeks pregnancy update. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.